Okay, so now for the last talk of our session, um, speaker will be Robert, Robert Nutsch uh, from Planet. Um, yeah, stage is yours. Thank you. Uh, so welcome everyone. Um, I'm trying to make a, a presentation for you which is not that deep down technical and uh, trying uh, uh, to keep you wake up. So um, uh, I'm going to give you a, a rough overview on uh, what Planet is offering to the geospatial remote sensing community in terms of uh, data. So we are, we are the fuel for this, all, the, all the things what you have heard today. And um, the, let me say the message of Planet is, is, uh, is uh, uh, very simple. And uh, uh, what we are providing is data only and some analytics, so basic analytics. Uh, and um, well, the, the, the key sentence, well, what we are keep saying is that you cannot uh, fix what you can't see. So uh, the, the whole planet idea came from uh, three guys working from the, uh, for, the, for the NASA in the United States, and they have, uh, uh, being as a startup, or, or, or they just established a startup, and uh, uh, they were wondering if it is possible to uh, create um, uh, imagery or satellite images uh, from space uh, for a low, or from a low budget uh, satellite. So they have uh, the the. One of them went to the uh, to the office a day and said, "Hey guys, I, I bought my new." Uh, Google Pixel camera. Look at this. I have I have a, a camera inside. I have a gyroscope inside. I have memory inside. So why why don't we just take images with these kind of cameras? And the, uh, the other two said that hey, you, you're you're nuts. You're you're crazy. It's it's not possible in the in the in the space. There's minus 150 and plus 130 and uh, uh, so it's, it's simply not possible. And they say, okay, let's, let's put it in the, in, in the uh, testing machine. Let's, let's see what happens with the phone. So they've duct taped it to a pole and put it in the, in the test machine, and uh, there were uh, plus 130 and minus 150, and uh, they, they shake it, they, they did everything with that, and uh, guess what? Nothing has happened. So the data on the phone was remained intact. The, the everybody, everything was working seamlessly. And uh, then they said, that, "Okay, let's uh, let's rocket launch it." And they rocket launched it, the, uh, the the phone, and it uh, the rocket fell off. And guess what has happened? The screen was broken. So all the data, all the Everything was working, so they said, "Okay, so let's let's do it. Let's let's find some some uh, some good investors and uh, and uh, start start the journey." So, uh, and of course, they they, they would need a, a a business justification behind. So uh, the, the satellites were or still bloody expensive. So a, a normal satellite could cost a billion dollar, so 800 million, 900 million, over a billion dollar. And uh, uh, they, they since, since the idea came from, the, from this uh, uh, mobile phone, uh, what we can do today is to put together uh, this micro satellite. So the, the, the satellites, what we have, uh, one of the constellations, what we have uh, called the, the doves, are uh, uh, 10 by 10 by 30 centimeters, so uh, uh, three unit satellites, and made from commercially available uh, pieces. And the cost of these satellites some, is something like uh, 50,000 uh, USD. So the prices are really low, go up to the sky as a secondary load. So again, the, we are keeping the, the uh, uh, costs uh, very low, and so the so the cost of the satellite images are kept low, uh, and um, so again the, the business decision was to to serve uh, the customers with a, with a uh, with a data which is uh, constantly available, which is affordable, 
and uh, one can make uh, easy business de decision based on that data. So, um, and compared to the traditional approach, uh, they, they, they recognize that the, on one hand, the, limit, uh, the coverage is limited, uh, because you have to task all the satellites to go to a, a certain place. Then if it is cloudy, you lost some days or weeks uh, when you can go again to the same place. Uh, so the, the, the revisit rate is really low. Uh, I would say that in the past, the access was also uh, quite uh, limited. Uh, it's, it's not any more valid, so... Um, all the, all the satellite image providers are offering an uh, uh, easy way to, to download the uh, images. And um, so w w what these guys have created is uh, uh, the, the satellite constellation what Rene showed before. So uh, satellite constellation uh, made up from 100 and 20 satellites constantly rotating around the globe and uh, uh, revisiting every single point or, or taking a picture of uh, every single point on Earth every day. And this is, this is the big shot what we have. So based on this, uh, these images, you can, you can do a lot of things. So you can see trends, you can do analytics, uh, and the, as I said, the, the the, uh, the cost is uh, really low, just for you to understand. Um, I, I'm, I'm always telling this because this is easy to understand and easy to, to remember that. So for one day, uh, one square kilometer costs one US dollar cent uh, 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 with, with our um, images. So okay, sending now zero. 10 meters, we have a cost of, uh, of, of this, but this is still, still very low, daily revisit, uh, and I'm going to tell you about the, the resolution and the, and the, and the uh, spectral bands then. So um, what, what we are doing, or where the or customers are, are frequently using our, our solution is uh, forestry, agriculture, uh, disaster management. So where, 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 at all those places where you need a, a frequent uh, revisit or, or you need, need to see the trends or you need uh, a, a lot of data to, uh, to process or to digest. Uh, of course, uh, there are many others, uh, other uh, possibilities to, to use this data. So uh, defense and intelligence, so border protection, for example, uh, as I, I've said, the emergency management part, forestry, mapping agencies are using, even as a backdrop uh, of, uh, of our uh, images, uh, energy. Uh, let me tell you an example. For example, utility companies are uh, watching or monitoring their uh, electricity lines or pipelines if there is uh, any encroachment, if there is any illegal buildings, uh, over uh, a pipeline or uh, around the uh, electricity line. Agriculture, obvious, so uh, I'll, uh, I'll tell you some, some examples. Uh, insurance companies, so for example, in Turkey, we have a, a really good project where the, uh, the Minister for Agriculture is uh, justifying if, if there was really a, a something or, or uh, the, the farmers just just reported a, a, a thunderstorm, which w wasn't even there. So they have uh, they are uh, using our daily imagery, having a, a microwave. Uh, don't, don't know the details. I'm sorry for that. So having 15 microwave uh, sensors, uh, so they can they uh, all. all over Turkey, so they can see where the, the thunderstorms and the, and the thunders were. So they can really identify if there was, if there's something has happened or not. So they can, the insurance company can pay for the farmer or say, no way, there was nothing uh, at, that, uh, at that point. Or um, 
creating a, uh, a business intelligence behind. So uh, imagine that, uh, in, this is also a, a life project in the US, uh, there's the, um, the so-called Permian Basin, and uh, that's in Texas, so the, the southern part of, of the United States, where there's a lot of oil. And uh, the, based on our daily imagery, they, uh, the, the uh, investors are checking if there is a road built somewhere. And if there are a lot of road is being built, uh, then there's something. And this something is the most probably oil. So the, the, the land uh, prices are going up. So it is worth to invest. So there are so many, so many uh, possibilities to, to do with this daily uh, imagery, you, you name it. So just, just uh, uh, th that's your imagination. So uh, uh, the, I said the idea was to image the whole world every day uh, and making the changes uh, visible and uh, uh, a, a kind of indexing the, the whole globe uh, and make available this imagery to everyone. Uh, beside the daily fresh imagery, we also provide the, all the archives. We are not allowed to delete one single image from the uh, images we, we, uh, we take. So uh, you can search for it, you can, we are indexing it, and um, you can of course download uh, the imagery. So uh, uh, a few examples. Uh, for agriculture, bloody obvious. So, uh, crop health, uh, then crop uh, classification, which is which is really the you can do it with Sentinel, but again, the the revisit rate is not as frequent as as uh, with uh, our imagery. And if you keep in mind the price, then you say that okay, it might make sense to to buy this data. Uh, of course, defense and intelligence everywhere around the globe. Stupid thing, but it's the governments are spending a lot of money on that, even if the civil uh, people wouldn't like it very much. So uh, plane detection, vessel detection, and this is, this is one of the analytics, what, what we do now, and we provide it for, uh, for purchase. The, the vessel detection, of course, only at the shoreline, so we are not imaging the uh, middle of the Pacific Ocean, uh, because it doesn't make sense to make blue images every day. So uh, we are we are imaging the landmass of uh, of Earth every day, uh, and of course border protection. Uh, I had a meeting now in uh, in today in Bucharest with uh, one of our partners, and they said that they uh, there's a need for uh, keeping a corridor clear. Uh, at the uh, all the borders of Romania, which means there there cannot be any vegetation there, not even grass. So then they have to monitor if it is really clean or not. So going out there on foot or with a drone costs a hell of a money. But if you have this daily imagery, you can you can use this uh, you, you can use the imagery for that purpose. Uh, I mean for for the monitoring. Uh, of course, uh, as I said, the pipeline monitoring for, for utility companies, deforestation. Um, forest fires can be, can be monitored with, with the uh, uh, Sandinas or, or whichever um, satellite constellation. One important thing, I wouldn't say that, that, that the, uh, the planet uh, satellite is the only one and you can do everything with that. But uh, uh, it has its... Uh, its market. So if you want to have better imagery or uh, high resolution, we have another constellation which is, ha which, uh, which, which is having a higher resolution. Uh, but uh, if you want a very high resolution, go to the other vendors. So you can do it. But if you are keep monitoring, you can decide if you want to have that, that better resolution. So monitoring low cost, if there is something, if there is anything happens uh, in a spot, you can go and buy high resolution imagery or you can go with a drone or on foot and check w what is happening there. Um, so the, 
These are the values, so high cadence, global coverage, efficient delivery. I haven't talked about the delivery. So the, uh, we are providing uh, uh, actually two platforms. One is uh, a web page where you can search for the imagery and you can download the imagery from, or we are providing, or and we are providing uh, an API for, uh, for, for the heavy users. Uh, so these are these are our solutions. The monitoring every day, everywhere. We have the other satellite constellation, which is a uh, well. Actually, this is a, an investment from Google, who has jumped into our, our company with their Terabella satellite constellation, which is now called SkySat. And uh, this is a, a constellation of 15 satellites. Uh, and this, uh, the resolution is 72 centimeters, uh, and uh, but you have to task these satellites. So if you see something happening around the, somewhere in, on the globe, you can go there with the you know, SkySet satellite and take an image uh, with a 72 centimeter resolution. We provide base maps. Base maps are the cleaned up version of, of our imagery, so auto rectified, uh, surface re reflectance cleared, and uh, uh, we, we are putting together ties, so you have uh, uh, the same uh, imagery uh, at, the, at, the, at the area of interest you, you want to have. Uh, we are providing a huge archive, so archive back to 2014, full coverage of the globe uh, every day. Uh, we are doing some analytics, as said that we are doing uh, this vessel detection for the military, or for whatever uh, purpose, and uh, we are doing road and building detection as well. Platforms are or Planet Explorer, which is, uh, uh, which is the online tool and the API, uh, what we are having. And you see here the, uh, the two constellations. So um, um, one is the Planet Scope, this three unit satellite. With a 70, uh, with a 3.7 meter uh, resolution, uh, RGB and near infrared, uh, we have an archive back to 2014, and we have the other constellation I've mentioned is the Sky constellation uh, with a 72 centimeter resolution, again uh, RGB near infrared and some uh, and the pan bands, uh, pan chromatic bands, and this also has a, a archive back to 2014, 15 satellites, which is, uh, let me say, a lot. So uh, we don't have any, uh, at this moment, any uh, issues with providing the, the, the needed data. Um, I don't have too much time, so I'm going to skip some, some slides a lot. Uh, and you see, so www.planet.com, please visit the site www.planet.com slash explorer. This is the online tool what we have, so you can uh, come uh, there, register, just have a touch and feel what kind of data we are providing. And um, I'm here today and tomorrow, so you can reach me out anytime. Uh, and this is the end of my presentation. I have some, some uh, other interesting things I just wanted to show you. Uh, so this is what we are doing. You see how many satellites we have, 140 plus orbiting. A lot of, uh, uh, I mean, in in, produ in production or which are producing the data is something like 140. Uh, we are uh, testing satellites. We are we are uh, improving our, our satellites. Uh, so um, there are a lot more in orbit which are not. Uh, commercially available yet. Um, we had a, a lot of successful launches. We had launches which were not successful as well, but as, because of the costs uh, of those satellites, uh, this, is, this is not a loss at all. I mean, uh, one, one fun fact, we can produce 20 satellites a week if, if, if it is needed. So in, in our uh, headquarters in San Francisco, there, this is the capacity, so 20 satellites a week, uh, which is, yeah, which is good, right? <laughs>
uh, yeah, this, this was shown by Rene uh, as well. So this, this, these are our satellite constellations. Uh, these are the actual uh, um, three unit sets, what we have. Uh, and these are the actual imagery, what we are providing. So basically RGB near infrared, red edge, and um, uh, panchromatic stuff. Thank you. I'm, I'm finished. So, um, okay. so f feel free to ask now. Yeah, thanks, Robert, for the great talk. Um, just a question out of interest. Do you happen to know on which altitude the SkySat constellation flies? Ah, okay. 500 kilometers. Yeah, around 500 mm -hmm. kilometers. We had launches from the International Space Station. I don't have videos here, but... Uh, not anymore. We are not anymore launching from the from the uh, from the International Space Station. But I think the first launch was from the uh, one of the fir first launches were from the uh, International Space Station. It's uh, yeah, uh, worth to watch on on YouTube these videos. So it's 200 kilometer launcher attached to the space station, and you said there's a cheap way to get the satellite out of space. Yep. But the, 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 the altitude is something like 500 kilometer. Yeah, okay. More. Great to get a uh, resolution of below one meter. Then. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, are there questions from the audience? Yeah? We can, we can map everything. There's one exception. Uh, the, the, yeah, the question was, uh, uh, well, well, actually, if there are any, any places where we cannot map. Um, the, the, since this is a US-based company, the US laws are uh, applied. So for this, uh, for this daily imagery, what we cannot do is uh, uh, imaging uh, Israel, because there's a two meter uh, resolution limit. Over Israel. Hmm? Yeah. So the, the uh, yeah. So <laughs> let me invite Rene to give the the right answers there. Yeah. So for the for the daily uh, image coverage, it's about 3.9 meters. So we are free to image everywhere, and we do image yeah. everywhere. But for the Skyzer constellation with a resolution below one meter, we have a restriction over Israel where we cannot sell the data in full resolution. That's the only thing. So basically, we can image, uh, we, we can take images everywhere. We cannot sell the images everywhere. So we are, we are the embargo countries like North Korea or Sudan or uh, things like that. But on the other hand, we are free to sell the data to anyone to from everywhere. Uh, of course, uh, we, we are we are. Uh, based on the U.S. laws, again, we have a background check if if uh, if they are using for the right purposes. So we are not selling data to terrorists or to stupid people. Simple like that. And this is this is our right to decide if we are selling the imagery to to a, a person or not. So this is this is our sole decision to decide if we if we are selling or not. Okay. That's an improvement on the planet scope. Okay. Yeah, the question, the question was, uh, it, uh, there was a press release recently that we are, we are having our new um, satellite constellation, which is called the Next Generation uh, Planet Scope. Next generation planet scope, and uh, what is this all about? So this is uh, this is an improvement on the on the images. What what they they take still the resolution between three and four meters, but uh, much brighter. The the bands are uh, in a different way. So. Uh, 
the, the, the second question is if you are still doing the Open California, which is, um, um, let me say, the, if you are, if you are uh, uh, having a trial, then you are, uh, or you were free to use the, the, the California uh, uh, territory, something like 10,000 square kilometers, uh, and this is still... I think it's finished. It's yeah. finished, but... Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so uh, I think that the Open California trial is finished or is close to be finished. Uh, but we are, uh, you're open to ask our sales staff for your personal trial area, and so we will happily support that uh, in order to make you happy with our data. Yeah. So it's, I think it's still available, but we'll be finished yeah, very so, soon. Yeah. So uh, it's, uh, this is the plan. But again, so feel free to ask us, and we can provide any kind of uh, trial or demo access to you if needed. Yep. Yeah, we can. Yeah, the question was if 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 there is a possibility to to, to do or still possible to do videos with the SkySat satellites, and it, the answer is yes. So we are still can provide videos. So uh, yeah, just one one little add-on. So uh, it's right that we are able to collect these videos. Currently, we are in uh, preparation for the rollout of the video product. So there will be an additional product for SkyZet video and SkyZet uh, stereo imagery. Yeah. Uh, so I don't get the question, sorry. Yeah. So uh, I guess you are talking about the tasking API. So if you want to task a SkyZet image, yes, and there's a tasking API available, but currently rolled out only to a limited number of customers. Because uh, the, you can imagine if somebody tasked the same area, let's say uh, Berlin, also the eastern and the western part at the same time, so we, we may have may run into conflicts, but then, and at the end, nobody will get an image, <laughs> not the first one, not the, not the uh, last one. So that's why we provided uh, the Copernicus Emergency Service with the ability to task uh, their SkyZet imaging themselves and a few other customers. Uh, it will be, or I hope it will be soon, an enhanced version of this tasking sh scheduler, that's the software, which can handle such conflicts in, in a better way, and then we were able to roll it out to a, a wider public. Okay. Any more questions? No more questions. No? Thank you very so, much. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, thanks to the presenters. <laughs>